Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. The next question is from Sister Zinar. Should we say the Shahada before going to sleep? This is not from the Sunnah. The Athkar of the Sunnah are well known. And you're a Muslim. So saying the Shahada on your dying bed, yes, this is Sunnah. The Prophet said, teach those who are dying how to say La ilaha illallah. But when going to bed, the Athkar of going to bed, Ayatul Kursi, cupping your hands and blowing in it and then reciting the three quls and wiping your whole body and you do this three times uh, and all the duas uh, the last two ayahs of surah al-baqarah subhanallah alhamdulillah 33 times allahu akbar 34 times and so on all of these are part of the adhkar and part of declaring your Islam without even needing to say the Shahada because saying it would be an innovation. Saying it at this particular point of time, which is before going to bed, is something that the Prophet did not do. So either we have an authentic hadith saying that, yeah, the Prophet before going to bed, he used to recite it. Then we have to follow that. Or if we don't have this, then it becomes an innovation. We have... One of the things we recite before going to bed, which is a declaration of Tawheed, practical Tawheed. I don't worship what you worship and you don't worship what I worship. And Allah knows best.